Okay, we created the UI, we brought uh, the item for about. Now let's go to. Where is. I'm going to admin, about admin. Let's go to about admin here. Okay, we got all these things. Let's import here some things, some basic things. Of course, we need import uh, Axios from Axios. Yes. <coughs> we need. Uh, I don't think that I'm gonna use use. Okay, let's see. Don't do anything else. We need. Uh, okay, let's put. Use effect. Use effect in order to fetch some data. Use state. Also, we could use here. So I'm. Um, also, we can take data from global global uh, co global context. Okay, I'm gonna show you that you can also use use effect in every component. Okay, so we are we can also fetch data from here separately. So let's uh, let me see. Let me see. So we are gonna create const about set about okay this now that we are gonna create it's a word that we want to create set about equal with use state okay we want an empty uh, an empty string a string just a string guys right now const about data set about data this is the real data that we are gonna fetch from Data database. Okay, as initial, it is an empty array. Let's put a const uh, message set message equal with use state. Right, empty array, empty string. We need a const message uh, condition set message cont. Is gonna be by default. Let's put a false. Okay. Right. Uh, after this, after this, guys, let's try and fetch. Of course, we need to go in. Where is the in admin? In this way, right now, we want to replace this static right now thing. Uh, we work about with about, okay? So we need use effect. Right, 
and of course we are gonna put an empty array because we want once to render uh, after this guys let's make a try catch okay we are gonna make a const res equal with a weight axios dot get okay we are gonna template strings and we want the about right right of course uh, in order to use a weight we need the async for this reason oh damn let me see i didn't do something correctly guys uh, okay something that i want you to so show we have to create a const fetch data again equal with right i'm gonna take all this right now cut it put it inside uh, of course we need the async we can't use directly in use effect the async it's not uh, we can't uh, do it so we have to create a function right you can also do what either you can put your, your function like we did letter cut it we can put it here out right and just say uh let me see page data okay you didn't write okay Page data is like this. Either you can do, as I told you, to put it out like this. Okay, and just write fetching data. And then we can just call here the function fetch data. Okay. let's go in about let's see what I got we don't need console log now copy and also disable by right um, go to about admin right now if we load we can see let me inspect element We can't see any console log, okay? We are dealing right now with fetching data. Look now, guys. If you go and put the console log, we don't need the above. We need right now the uh, rest.data, okay? Let me see. And we just take the data, look, again. Disable console log, right? Um, this time I'm gonna use it inside, right here. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if it works. Ah, uh, yes, error. Okay. Let's see. Okay, it works. Right. Disable it again. We don't need. Um, right. Okay, we took data. 
right now guys <coughs> we are gonna take this data let's go where we want to bring this data right now we need to go in the about info where is here okay just copy it copy go back here right we are gonna make uh, let me see what did I do here okay we want to bring We are gonna put inside here the about data, okay? Right, and for this reason, what we need? Let me see for a while, just close for. We need to put, try, okay, go here and just, we need set about data we are gonna put inside the res.data okay and now the about data have the data that we want let's go and do about data dot map right uh, let's put item equal and just import these things right we don't need this anymore guys okay just disable comment it for a while we are gonna input here we need remember a key key equal with item dot id in order not to see the each element right uh, what we need uh, also here we need to take dynamically the item dot dot uh, about let's see And look here, we got our items right now. Okay. Uh, let me see what else I want. So, right now, these static things, I don't want it, guys. I just created it in order to see how we can create in UI and then deal with this dynamically. Okay, we just take it dynamically right now. Right? So, as you can see, look how easy it is. Uh, right now, what else we need to do? Okay, just gonna reload. Right? Okay, we got the data. Okay, we got the data, look. We got it here. Also, we got here in home the data, look. Uh, go to admin again now let's work with these functionalities right 